What is up guys, my name is SageV8 and welcome to the first ever video on my channel. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. In this video, we'll be doing a player review on this man right here, Marcel Desailly. He costs 11 tokens for Icon Swaps 1 and I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on his card and whether or not I think he is worth the 11 tokens. As you can see he has no traits that will benefit our gameplay. He does have fantastic defensive and physical stats with great pace. He has medium high work rates with 2 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves, and he has fantastic composure and great reactions. His passing and vision is a little bit low for what I'd like from a midfielder, especially if you're looking to spring those long passes to spring counter attacks. His agility and balance is also a little low, so he will feel a little bit clunky on the ball. We picked him up for 470,000 coins on Xbox, and we're going to be using him in 4 games, and I'll be showing the highlights from those 4 games. I played two games using him as a DM and two as a centre back to really get a feel for how he plays in both positions. In my opinion, this card is basically an out of position centre back, especially with passing and dribbling stats that low. Will feel a little clunky in game and definitely will feel like a centre back playing in the midfield. So, going into the first game here, coming up against this squad, pretty decent La Liga team with some good cards but also some very basic players in there. We'll be playing Desai as a DM in these first two games and what I really saw from this was that he was very noticeable. As you can see, we've already got him, him involved early here just to see how he feels on the ball. And he wins that contested header right there. But what I saw from him was that he was getting involved a lot, both defensively and even coming forward with the ball and assisting the attacking play, but especially defensively. He was very noticeable making those tackles and disrupting my opponent's play, which is exactly what I'm looking for from a defensive midfielder. So I'm showing you this clip here because I want to demonstrate his long passing ability. As you can see, we send Saka on a run at the top and that is a long over the top through ball that goes straight into the hands of his goalkeeper. Saka did have the space but Desai couldn't make the pass with the low vision and long passing and that is definitely not ideal. Especially if you're looking for him to launch some counter attacks from the defence. You did see him win that free kick for us there with his strength which is another good attribute for him. He is a very physical player. And this here is just another cheesy FIFA goal. Somehow after red timing the shot, the ball bounces off Mendy, goes in and Werner is credited for the goal. Classic FIFA cheese goal really. We go for a shot here with Desai because the space did open up. He got it on target but it was right in the middle and an easy save for check. And you're not going to be scoring many long shots with him but that's to be expected from such a defensive minded player. So after scoring this penalty, this is my favourite play he made for me. One tackle, two tackles, three tackles from Desai. Great physical play from him right there as we come away with the ball. So usering him here and look at that closing speed as he makes this great tackle from behind. And this really was a great debut for him but unfortunately we did end up losing the match. And as you can see another way would pass from him right there demonstrating his low vision and his low passing stats. But he does have high composure so you expect him not to miss these short passes when being pressured by an opponent. But this did happen quite often actually so that is definitely something to note. But what I would recommend is that if you are planning to use him in the midfield is to either use the engine or catalyst chemistry style. His defensive stats are already great, but if you really want to use him in the field, you should boost his passing stats to try and minimize those errors. If you are also happy with his pace, an artist could be useful to boost up that passing and that dribbling. Into the second game here, playing a basic Premier League team with some high rated golds and a couple of special cards, but right here is an example of how he can play some great passes with a fantastic long through ball to Timo Werner, who was able to get the goal and that was a great assist from Desai. This, in this game there is actually quite a few highlights of him getting involved in the link up play with some nice pass and move type of ball. And he puts in a nice weighted through ball to Freddie Youngberg out on the wing, he's able to swing in the cross but nothing happened from that attack there. He's able to get another nice through ball here to spring another counter attack as we charge forward with Freddie Youngberg again but somehow we weren't able to score from this attack as even though we were 4 on 2, Saka hit it on the volley and this keeper is able to save it. Tracking back with him here, we're able to pick up the loose ball and spring another counter attack. And then back on defense, he gets a nice interception and I did notice he was getting a lot of interceptions while playing in the midfield, reminding me of when I tried Patrick Vieira. And bringing him back here, we were able to pick up another clean interception with him to get the ball out and start an attack. Moving the ball forward here nicely, but somehow Saka runs offside. Not really sure how, but hey, it is what it is. 
And this is an example of good passing from him here and how you can get him involved in your build up play. So nice one touch passing as we move the ball forward through him and eventually work it through to take the lead of the game and actually end up taking the win in this one. So for these next two games, we will be playing him as a centre back, starting him in the midfield and moving him back with custom tactics. Gersons will take over the CDM role and he will play alongside Delict at centre back. Trying him out at centre back here, he makes a good interception to start with, which seems to be a recurring theme in this video. Using him as a centre back, I did not notice him as much as when he was in the midfield, but that's most likely because I'm not trying to manually use my centre backs all the time. If I do that, I'm likely to move them out of position. But if I did ever find myself moving Delict out of position by mistake, I did notice that most of the time he would be there to clean up, like right there where he makes a great tackle clearing the danger. And that was about it for that game really, as we managed to pick up our second win. And in this final game, I realised that Traore would get the same chemistry as Tavernier, so I figured why not switch him back in. So going into this game, I'm showing you his first goal because I have absolutely no idea what happened here. Seems like Czech just kicked it into his face, leaving Raul with an open goal. I guess you could say karma for my cheesy goal earlier on, but it is what it is. Moving on, pulling Desai out a little bit out of position here, but he makes a great tackle to clear the danger. In my opinion, he's a very good centre back. If you can work him into your team so you're able to swap him to centre back with your custom tactics, then he would do a very good job for you. He is a strong physical centre back with good defensive stats. However, I wouldn't get this card if you're planning on using him as a defensive midfielder. His passing was just not consistent enough and he did give the ball away in some crucial areas, even though he did make some great through balls from time to time. But for me, overall, it wasn't good enough. I also noticed that his stamina was sometimes running a little low towards the end of games when I was playing him in the midfield, but that might have just been because I was overusing him to really get a feel for the card. Now would I spend 11 tokens on this card? Probably not, but that's because I would prefer to take an icon pack along with some of the 83 by 25 or the fodder packs, whichever one you want to pick. But if you want to guarantee yourself a great centre back who links to everybody, he will do a great job for you. Is he a meta player? I don't think he is. He's not going to be that guy who pushes you to that extra rank in champs finals. The games we did play here were our champs qualification matches, but he was still a good centre back for me in these. So before we wrap up this video, I have a bonus clip which is my foot generations pack. Thank you for sticking around to the end if you did, and thank you for tuning into my first video. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like and a sub and maybe leave a comment letting me know what you're going to take from Icon Stops 1 and I'll see you next time.